I would like to bring us now to the text of this story. And the text comes from Exodus chapter 15. This is when the people of Israel have walked three days into the wilderness and they are thirsty, but all of a sudden their thirst is, is absolutely recognized because they see what they think is refreshing water only to find out that the water is poisoned and it's bitter. Let me read from this account. This comes from Exodus chapter 15. And then Moses led Israel from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days into the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore it was named Marah. So the people grumbled at Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, and he threw it into the waters, and the waters became sweet. There he made for them a statute and a regulation, and there he tested them. And he said, If you give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and give all his statutes, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians, for I, the Lord, am your healer. It is always the case that God reveals himself to be the one that we need through our desperate need. If God today has put you in a place where you are desperate for him and you realize that you can't go on without him, you need a miracle from heaven. God is not punishing you. God is blessing you with your awareness of your need because the Lord God says this, I have done this, and if you open your ears to hear my voice, and open your ears to even hear the blessing of following me, I will reveal myself as your healer. I, the Lord, am your healer. Your healer doesn't come from an antidote or, or from an antibiotic. Your healing comes from your God, who is all-powerful, and He is the one who can deliver you, and He is the one who can save you.